Okay guys, in this video I'm going to cover how to configure uh, the FlySky FSI6S with your uh, clean flight flight controller. And in this case I'm using a Flip32, which is an F1 flight controller, which is very similar to the Nase32 uh, Rev4 and Rev5. Uh, however, the pinouts are going to be a little bit different on the different flight controllers. So I recommend that you um, consult the documentation that came with yours as to, to which particular pins to use. Um, going to be configuring PPM and IBUS, which is similar to SBUS. It's just a uh, another serial protocol for FlySky. So let's get started. So before you get started, you need to make sure that your um, FSI6S is upgraded to version 2.0 or version 1.11 of the firmware. So you want to double check that. And if you haven't done that, I have a video I'll put up here in the corner that you can go and see how to go ahead and uh, flash your firmware to get the new features because you're going to need that to get this to work. So I'm going to use the uh, receiver that came with this transmitter, it's the uh, IA10B and we're going to do the PPM configuration first. So in order to set a PPM on the flight controller you want to uh, connect your receiver to the input port uh, channel number one so I got this uh, serial connector here. I'm going to just go ahead and plug it in right here. And then the other end on the receiver, you want to plug that into the channel one, uh, which is labeled PPM. Go ahead and plug that in. And right now it's only plugged in via USB to the computer, so there's no power to the receiver. So I'm going to um, plug in some five volt power here. Okay, there you go. Now we got power and we have a bind. Okay, so first thing I do is go to Clean Flight and connect to your flight controller. And then go to the configuration settings and scroll down to where it says receiver mode. And we're going to change that to RX PPM. And then we're going to hit save and reboot. And then on the transmitter, you need to go to output mode. And we'll have to turn off the receiver first, so I'll go ahead and unplug that. Okay, so then once we go into output mode, we have to select PPM. Go back out. And go ahead and I'll power up my receiver again. And then we go back into clean flight and hit go to the receiver section. We should be able to see that uh, as we move our sticks here, um, that our inputs are working. So roll when you go to the right, it should go to go up to 2000 and uh, left goes to towards 1000. Pitch should go down towards 1000 and up should go towards 2000. And on yaw, um, Towards the right should go towards 2000 and left should go towards 1000. The throttle is low at 1000 and max is at 2018. So, what you want to do at this point is make sure that your um, center points are at 1500. And we can see right now that it's a little bit off, so we're going to go ahead and adjust that in the transmitter. So we're going to go to sub trim and we'll go ahead and we'll do the sub trim for the aileron channel and since it's high we're going to lower it so I'm going to give it some negative input and you can see there it is going down to 1503, 1502, 1501 and it's kind of bouncing around there a little between 1500, 1489, 1501 so that's pretty good. So we'll leave that there. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to check your endpoints for that channel. So that's going to a high of 2004 and a low of 996. So we're going to go and adjust that as well. And to do that we go to endpoints. And we'll adjust the, the bottom end. 
and so at 100% is too much, so we're going to decrease that. That's too much, so let's see here. So just one click of the endpoint to 99, take it to 1001, that's pretty close, we'll leave that there. And on the high end, is it 2004, so I, I suspect that one click down will probably be enough. And now we're at 201999, that's good enough. And we'll check our center point again, and we're at 1499. Could probably go back and adjust that. If you want to get that exactly at 1500, we can. That's the wrong one. Go to channel 1, and let's increase that to 12. And there we go, we're at 1500. So that's what you want to do for the rest of the channels. I'm just going to show you this one channel because. The other ones are going to be the same. So our center point's at 1500, our max is at about 2000, and our min's at about 1000. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but this time with IBUS instead of PPM. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the power to the receiver because it's going to ask us to turn off the receiver anyway. And to change our output mode from PPM to IBUS. Go back out. And then we want to go ahead and connect to CleanFlight again. And uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the Ports tab. And under UR2, we're going to turn on Serial RX. And then hit Save and Reboot. And then under configuration, we want to select RX serial in receiver mode. And under serial receiver provider, we're going to select IBUS. And then hit save and reboot. Now, now on your flight controller, uh, you want to move the input from the receiver from channel 1 to channel 4, which is going to be UR2. So we just move it up to channel 4, like that. And then on the receiver, we're going to move it away from PPM. And we're going to plug it into the IBUS port, which is right here. And the uh, ground is going to be on the left. Just going to be plugged in like that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, power up our receiver again. There we go. So now in clean flight, when we go to the receiver tab, we should have again our movements. And um, we see here that it looks like it's all working. We have 2,000 on the high end for roll and 1,000 for the low end. And it's right, right there about in the middle at 1499, which is, which is good. Same with the pitch. That looks pretty good. Um, you would do the same thing for um, adjusting your, your sub trim and your endpoints as we did previously for PPM. It doesn't look like there's going to be much adjustment needed. And um, for this, uh, this protocol, IBUS, which is basically a, a digital protocol versus PPM, which is an analog protocol, you're probably not going to need a lot of adjustment because uh, as long as your, your sticks are calibrated correctly, uh, you should be getting uh, the exact um, uh, values here. 1,000 on the low end, 1,500 in the middle, and 2,000 on the high end. So you can see here, all four of our major channels here are all working properly. And also you have to remember that the FlySky protocol default channel map is going to be AETR. So that's something you should probably uh, remember for um, if you find that your uh, channels are reversed or not working correctly. Uh, for example, if you, if you find that the roll is actually moving the pitch instead of, instead of the roll, then uh, just look at the channel map, double check to make sure it's 
AETR. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below and I'll, I'll try and help you, uh, help you guys out as best I can. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.